Hey, Lake Point Church, Pastor John Tyson here. I'm excited to be back with you today for the Daily Drive with Lake Point Church podcast. We're talking about Jesus' masterclass in prayer that he taught in Luke chapter 11. All of us want to get better at prayer. I don't know a Christian that's not trying to figure out how to connect with God on a deeper level. And in Luke chapter 11, Jesus teaches us how. The first thing he taught us was the content of our prayer which is what is called the Lord's Prayer. And today we're going to talk about something that I think is honestly, when you read the words of Jesus, a little bit shocking. This is the attitude to our prayer. So in Luke chapter 11, verses 5 through 8, this is what Jesus says. Then Jesus said to them, Suppose you have a friend, and you go to him at midnight, and you say, Friend, lend me three loaves of bread. A friend of mine on a journey has come to me and have no food to offer him. And suppose the one inside answers, don't bother me. The door's already locked and my children and I are in bed. I can't get up and give you anything. I tell you, even though he won't get up and give you the bread because of friendship, yet because of your, hear these two key words, because of your shameless audacity, he will surely get up and give you as much as you need. Now, when you think about the way we go about asking in prayer, often we sort of have a hyper-spiritual or religious sort of framework, don't we? So, thou art our God, Holy Father. It's it's sort of hyper-reverent. But Jesus says when we approach God, our attitude, attitude should be very, very different. And he tells this parable, and it's a parable from Uh, the Middle East, in how homes were constructed. You've got a man who's put his family away for the night. He can't be bothered getting up. And even though he's a friend of the man, friendship is not enough for him to get what he needs for his friend who has visited town. And so Jesus is teaching us about persistence in prayer. Jesus is telling us about a kind of spiritual aggression that many of us are not comfortable with. So the guy simply refuses to be told no. So he says, hey, look, I can't. My kids are asleep. I'm asleep. Sorry, mate. This is not going to work. And uh, the man says, I appreciate the fact that your children are in bed. I appreciate the fact that you're tired, but I refuse to be denied. And it says these words here because of his shameless audacity. Philip Yancey, in his book on prayer, says that prayer is more like haggling at a flea market for a bargain than it is approaching God in somber tones and reverence. Have you ever been to a flea market uh, and there's something you really want there? And the person says, maybe even a garage sale, and the person says it's $20. And you say, I'll give you 10. And they say, 19. You say, 11. It's 17. 13. Okay, 15 it is. You're bargaining and you're haggling it out. This is what Jesus is trying to teach us in prayer shameless audacity. I've got two children. They're both grown now uh, in college. But when they were little, my kids were shameless. They they could manipulate me. My daughter could get my heart. My son could work the angles. And the reason they were so shameless is because they knew I loved them. The reason they were so aggressive and persistent is because they knew I had the resources that they needed. And the rule of our family was the rule of asking. It's the same with prayer. Is there something you really need from God? Is there something that's on your heart? Is there some great cry that you think God may not care about or be willing to answer? Friends, don't be discouraged. Stir up your shameless audacity. I want to dare you today to take your biggest, wildest, boldest, heart cry into the presence of God and just lay it before him. And here's what I want to encourage you to do. Go to your Bible, take out Luke 11, hold it up before God and say this, God, you said right here, I didn't write this book. You wrote this book. And Jesus, you told me that my attitude should be one of shameless audacity. So with boldness and confidence because of the blood of Jesus, and the Father's love, and the gift of the Holy Spirit, I am asking for you to act. And friends, I believe you're going to be amazed what God does when you ask through shameless audacity. So Jesus' masterclass on prayer tells us 
what to pray the content, but then it tells us the attitude that we should pray with. Why do you step out today with shameless audacity and bring your wildest requests and needs to the Lord?